Hi, this is Patricia from the Bedford Public Library, here to share some tips and techniques to help you use our online library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place a request using our website. So to get started, I've already opened Firefox and navigated to the library website, which is bedfordnhlibrary.org. Now, the easiest way to find something in our catalog is just to use this catalog search bar in the top right corner. If you're on a mobile device like a cell phone, it is going to work a little differently. There's a menu you'll have to scroll through and you'll see something that says catalog slash account my account. Once you click on that, you'll be able to run your search the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and search for one of my favorite books, The Hobbit. And you can either click this magnifying glass or just hit enter to run the search. Now we're here in our search results. You can see I've come up with 31 different options. And that includes a Blu-ray, a DVD, and a Cloud Library ebook. The way you can tell what kind of item it is is by looking at these little icons under the cover picture. And if you're not sure what something represents, if you just hover your mouse over it, it'll actually tell you. So I am looking for the print book today. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and I'm just going to look for Bedford Books Print Only and click that magnifying glass to run the search again. So our first result is actually a book about The Hobbit. And then down here we have The Hobbit or There and Back Again. And you can see we actually have two copies. And so if I wanted to, I can place my request right from this screen using this button over here on the right. But because there are two, I do wanna take a look at that record and I can just do that by clicking on the title here. So I can see, double check, it is a book. And I've got the little book icon there to tell me that. And then I can also see where it says edition that's pocket edition. So it's gonna be a little tiny copy I can take with me, which I think is great. So I'm gonna place a request. And I can do that just by clicking on this button over here on the right. So if you're not already logged into the website, it is gonna ask you to log in here. And you can do that with the barcode off number off the back of your library card. Or if you've created a username, you can use that username here. And I'm gonna enter my password or PIN. If you don't remember your password or if you never set one up, you may be able to reset it by using this link here to email yourself. If not, you can always give us a call at 472-2300 and we can reset it for you over the phone. So I'm gonna log in now. And sometimes it just takes a second. All right, so I am all logged in. And I do have a couple of options here before my request goes in. I could choose a different pickup library. I'm gonna leave it at bed for public library for now. And I could also set the activation date ahead. So for instance, if I was going out of town for a couple of weeks or I knew I wasn't gonna be able to pick up my items for a little while, I could set that activation date into the future. If someone else checks out the book in the meantime, I will have to wait for it to come back in, but it's worth it to not miss the whole. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to leave it as is and submit my request. So that's it. My hold request has been placed. And once my item is ready for pickup, the library will either call or email me to let me know. Now I can return to my search results so I can request more items. Or I can go to my list of hold requests so I can see what I've already requested. And I can also adjust my hold requests there, cancel them or suspend them, set that activation date ahead. And when you're done, don't forget to log out. Thanks for watching. I hope this tip and technique has been helpful and that you'll watch some of our other tips and techniques videos. And I hope that you manage to request some great books and other materials. Thanks, take care.